We're going to be hearing mine, I think, coming up. Uh, grab the popcorn and the snow caps. I love snow caps. You love them? Oh, God, and sweet tarts. <laughs> snow caps, sweet tarts, and butter, really buttery popcorn. Oh, wow. I'm all in. We'll have to do that one day. Time for a real talk. Thanks to our sponsors at MJR Digital Cinemas. Movie reviewer Greg Russell is back Hello. with us with a couple of new flicks this weekend. Are they date worthy? Are they good for Valentine's Day or not? Well, thanks for being here, by the way. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's start with a movie we hope doesn't go downhill because <laughs> even though that's its title, yeah. it does star two of my absolute mm -hmm. favorites, Will Ferrell and Julia Louis Dreyfus. Mm -hmm. This is a an American remake right. mm -hmm. of a movie called Force Majeure, right. which I also happened to see probably four or five years okay. ago, whenever it was. Great movie. Give us the premise that's a this one a can't miss. I always say that anybody who's been married or is married or is dated for a while will really understand this movie and feel it because we've all kind of like been in that situation one way or another. Uh, it's all about the, the family goes on a skiing vacation to Austria, Will Ferrell, Julie Leo Dreyfus, and their two sons. All of a sudden an avalanche hits. And just when he sees it, I mean, he got up like most people did and ran. Okay, so we should point out that they're sitting at an outdoor like veranda right. mm -hmm. and the mountains are in the background mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they purposely just, set off some charges to you know, control right. the avalanche, but they don't know that. Right. And so they see it coming, and Will Ferrell's character, you know, he's out of there. He's, he's like, out. Bye, wife and kids. I'm, I'm gone. See ya. And then they're, they're left there, like, oh my God, you deserted us. What kind of dad are you? And just for the rest of the movie, it's him trying to prove. I mean, you know, just to save face. Got to talk to him all about it. Here we go. And also, you'll love what they say about their directors. Ah. Is that okay? Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> one of the greatest elephant in the room mm -hmm. movies <laughs> yeah. Yeah. of all time, yeah. I think. Right. Yeah. And this is the first time you guys have worked together, which came across as the perfect couple. I think in terms of uh, delightfully sharing the same kind of approach to comedy, yes. as mm -hmm. well as drama and the story, uh, mixed with the fact that we've both been married for a long time, mm -hmm. and yeah. have uh, a, a lot to kind of share with each other and, and, and Tap kind into. of draw, right. draw upon for, yeah. for the roles. Then you had two directors, and they're yes. both of their arguing, saying that you both like one of them better than the other. Right. Which one did you enjoy? Well. It's still a toss up for me, and by toss up I mean neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, found them, toss I found them annoying and contradicting, and finally it was just, it basically. We just directed each we other. We directed the <laughs> yeah. movie. Yeah. I don't know what those guys did. Well, I mean, you know, they sort you of showed up. Someone. They were around, right. you know. Kinda, they were, yeah. Right, you got to give the title to somebody. So it's like, okay, yeah. you, you've got that. Right, right, right. Stand there. Blah, 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 blah. It was, you know, when the um, all the adults and Peanuts cartoons talk, and it's wah, 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 wah. Oh, That yes. was the sound of their voices to us. It's so true, literally. Yeah. 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 Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. Well, they hated Jim, so I <laughs> got to easy. speak with a lot of the I spent a lot of time in, in, a in the corner. closet. Yeah. <laughs> in the corner. Neither one of us can ski. Yeah. Oh, gosh. And so we would take the gondola up yeah. and then take the gondola back <laughs> <up>. down. <Which, laughs> <laughs> We'd have soup uh -huh. and then we would come down. All right, now Force Majeure played it more as a drama. Right. Uh, this one's more about the comedy, or no? It's it's a drama with comedic elements. That's the one. best way to put it. Yeah. Okay. And what's the uh, what's the verdict here? Uh, loved it. It was. I give it a four. And really? Another reason I give it a four. Eighty-eight minutes long. Awesome. Right. They didn't need three hours or something to tell this story. They went in. They did what they had to do and got out. All right, well, I guess that's what we have to do because mm -hmm. there's somebody in my ear telling us to move along. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog uh, getting 68% on Rotten Tomatoes. I've heard this movie is a cash grab. Uh, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, it's for kids. I mean, that's the best way to put it. Take a Here look. are my interviews. <laughs> That's not good. And little did you know back then, playing the game till two, three in the morning, you'd be in the movie. Right, yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, that's another reason why it was like, yes, sign me up, I wanna be a part of this. It's like, you know, it's rare that you get an opportunity to, to uh, bring something to the big screen that was that has such mythology and such history and, and, and pop culture. Like, uh, X-Men was a really special thing mm -hmm. for me to be a part of, and, and now to kind of bring this guy to the screen mm -hmm. is, uh, is pretty cool too. And you're working with somebody who's blue again. So right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, boy, you were the first person to make me realize that. All that's right. true. Yes, and he was also painted. There you but go. But on a computer. 
<laughs> and then in this way, I mean, here you are, you're the sheriff in your hometown growing up, or where you yeah. grew up. And like anybody, a lot of times you think, it'd be great to move to some place bigger and all like that yeah. with your family. Yeah. He feels like there's more purpose out there, out there somewhere for him. And he, you know, he meets this guy yeah. along the way unexpectedly and becomes friends with him mm -hmm. and, and kind of like a father figure friend to him mm -hmm. and discovers, you know, his, uh, his new uh, definition of purpose that way. I'm quite sure you played it like everybody else. Yeah. Could you have imagined then as a kid going, one day I'm going to be him. I mean, I never saw any of this coming, me being an actor or anything like mm -hmm. that. So to voice him and then to voice like Dewey from DuckTales and Leonardo from Turtles, it's a dream come true because those are the things I grew up with and like influenced who I am as a human being. And then of course you've got the big enemy, always wonder what he'd look like in real life. Dr. Robotnik, yep. Eggman, Jim Carrey. Yep. yep. And he's, he's good as the evil bad guy. He's so funny in it. He, it made me so happy because I feel like it, that's like vintage Jim Carrey. Like the stuff that I grew up loving, like Dumb and Dumber and Ace Ventura, Ace Ventura to the Mask. And he does a performance like that and you're just blown away that he can be so funny by like moving his fingers. Is that true? Is he funny? He is funny. All right, how many reels? Three. Three reels. Swag. We have got pedal balls from Sonic right here. Also, a hat and then this glow-in-the-dark ball. Also, some activities books for the kids. Mad Libs, love those. And some uh, complimentary passes to go see the movie, as well as some more fun things for the kids to do. And also, there's a box of glitter up there. Okay. Then, for downhill, we have got the coffee mug that once it heats up, boom, it says something, plus hand warmers right here. Also, a protective case for your cell phone, and also a medical kit that you can just put in your car because it's got uh, bandages and all like that. Okay. And these beanies, which I gotta tell you, are warm as all outdoors. But something else that's gonna warm me up is this beautiful downhill sign poster. All the members of the cast and directors, including Will Ferrell and Julia Louis Dreyfus. Wouldn't you like this in your family? Yeah, I absolutely would. Absolutely. To win, enter to win Greg's giveaways, just go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. Contest rules are posted there as well. To see a list of showtimes at an MJR digital cinema near you, go to their website, mjrtheaters.com.